Well, it's 8th fell site, 140 late spring. Do another quick update here. You can see we got the windows installed, the levers are installed. They're hooking them up right now. And cats are already starting to get stuck between the doors. So I think once we got this up and going, uh, we'll start to thin the cat problem real quick. Other than that, let's see what's going on. There's more smoothing, more stone dumping. I've got this set as the stone garden outside right now. And, as you can tell, a bunch of dwarves are going out there. Some of them hate it, some of them don't mind it. On the next level up, I'm still getting this set up, and we're going to continue building, building this up. I had to separate the walls a little bit, because whenever I build it up, I want to make sure that it's not connected to anything. I don't want to build a floor here, and because a wall connects to a corner, suddenly 16 super mutants can just storm the base. I can imagine that happening. I've had it happen in other forts before, so we'll try not to do it here. Or suddenly have everybody stream outside the base when I'm not looking. I'll try to avoid all those things. Other than that, not anything. Bunch of masterpiece stuff being created by Dowd Pride there. He's making bone armor and bone ammunition. We're still training in that. You can see Lure Shape there, shooting an archery range. Marksman. Pretty much everyone, all of our troops now, have switched over to a Bozar. So they'll have melee, shield, armor usage, and they'll all be uh, equipped with a Bozar. So our military force is being trained. It's coming along quite nicely. Got rooms set up here, a few beds. Stephen King's got his bedroom there. Got Toady One, he picked a bedroom. Sinister Gaming picked a bedroom, and Fbred59, you picked up a bedroom. Didn't assign any of those, I don't know when I will assign some more. Right now, just waiting for more trees to grow up. I don't see any mature trees in the pipe there that need to be cut down. There is one there, but we're gonna let that one stay. So it's 10th fell site 140 and that's all that's going on right now. Just another quick little update. Whoa, somehow Things have changed here. Luke Skywalker got promoted to mayor. Sorry, Juju Dog, you lose your bedroom for now. Luke Skywalker gets it. That's kind of uncalled for. I wasn't expecting expecting that to happen. I guess that's kind of awesome though. Sorry, Juju. Assign this bed to Luke Skywalker. And Juju Dog, you don't get anything now. You'll just have to go claim a bedroom, try to scrape by like everybody else. So, welcome to your new digs, Luke. Hopefully you die soon so a real person can get your stuff. Make sure that all this is switched. Yep, and there we go. It's 17th Hematite, 140 early summer. This year is already almost half over, and the only thing that's happened so far this year is Luke Skywalker getting elected. Cute emo boy X is sad. He's unhappy, neck and brain damage. He's just hauling stones right now. I think we got a few sieges going on outside. Let's see. Nothing to really talk about. We did have some zombie hammermen show up, zombie spearmen, zombie wrestler there, zombie, 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 zombies, lots of zombies. We did have a super mutant siege in the beginning of the year, but they left rather quickly before we could do anything. Got this little base being built here. This is going to be the bottom level of our guard tower. We'll get this all up and going. Get it at least three or four levels high. Right now, everybody is, uh, Everybody is practically practicing archery. 
the archery range over here there's arrows everywhere then we go over to the sheriff's office with his archery range and there's arrows and bolts and spent casings everywhere who's coming to shoot right now only radish is coming along to shoot and what are you at radish great master grand master wrestler and great marksman only radish and singing are our two highest archers two highest marksmen everyone else is getting there we'll have them patrolling the guard tower within no time also got this little uh, outpost this guard tower finished it's what go up one floor two floor two floors high it's got fortifications all on this side and then windows on this side hopefully they start bringing some ammos to it some some bullets get those stockpiles filled up for the guards Other than that, hasn't really been anything happening. Still just working on getting all those original plans built up that we've been working on for a while. Working on getting more people bedrooms. Almost have the cat, the cat crusher done. The cat penetrator, whatever we're going to call it here. Each room has, uh, I guess we'll see here. This one had, this lever has one spike left. This lever is completely hooked up and this lever has one spike to hook up. As soon as they get those hooked up, any cats that get trapped in these rooms, as soon as I notice there's cats in there, I'll forbid the doors so that no vault dwellers can walk in. And then we'll send someone to pull a lever and anything that's in that room will hopefully get spiked to death. Can start weeding out some of these cats, maybe one or two at a time. Like, let's see, if we were to pull it in this room, we'd kill Okil the cat. Abdo kill the cat. So we'd get two cats in one pool there. And hopefully they'll keep coming through and getting locked up in those rooms. The cat has given birth to kittens. I can stop fighting the cats here as soon as we kill them all. So it's 23rd Hematite. That's really all that's going on. Updates might slow down just a little bit because everything has taken so long just to get done. Fortress is huge. It's growing. There's a lot to do. A lot to move around. And the plump helmet the dungeon master wants a bed in his tomb. What a pompous jerk. It's a good thing for now, though, that the sheriff has an extra bed in his room. He doesn't need to. So we'll take that bed and put it in the dungeon master's tomb. Can't believe he wants a bed in there. Of all the things he can demand, he wants one of the hardest things for us to make right now. That's how it seems to go, isn't it? There's a puppy. Strike it down. And Rar Barbecue Sauce has given birth to another girl. Well, I guess that's your first girl, but you have given birth to three boys. Congratulations, Rar Barbecue Sauce. You've almost worked yourself up to a six-pack here. 